Hey there guys, my name is Zagronite here. I'm here to do a little tutorial slash, well, game making. As you see, I am on Blender. Blender is a free to use, well, game, creating device in Majigital. Yeah. But anyways, what I'm going to do is make a full game like a platformer. A Mario based flat platformer. Mario based platformer but instead of like whatever it's gonna have a some Pokemon in it that I think would be perfect for a platforming game so I will go by step step by step on how to do this I got the models from rosestudio.co.uk the models there's over I think 700 but they well a lot of them are not finished and all that stuff. So yeah. Now let me just open my folder up. I got I'm organizing them to finish the models, not finished and then models. I'm up to Vaporeon. These are all the ones I still have a sort. But what I want to do is make Froki the character I'll be using. As you see, Froki, because, you know, he's a frog and he hops. So, yeah, let's close this back out, down like that. First, the menu. Uh, you press 7 on the notepad, you go get a high... High... High, view, high, high point of view. Sorry, I was thinking, because, um, not good words. So, let's add camera. The way I did that, I shift A. So, let's zoom in right about there. Let's, let's make this, e like, as even as I can. There we go. Now we press Control Alt and Zero on the notepad, and you have this view. We actually want uh, pre uh, if you want to move it around, you press G. But I want to move it up, which means I press, I think, yeah, Z. Then I move the mouse back like that, right about there. This right here is going to be our menu screen. So let's go up here to Scene. I'm not good with spelling neither. Menu. Yeah. Forget. That's always going to be good. Okay, as you see, we got this basic set out right here. So now what we do is we shift A again. Click on text. I don't know where that text is spot. Really? Okay, if you want to change the location Usually this right here would be close, like that. So you just click the plus, open it, click location, then just put zeros in all of them. Okay, so move you up like right about there. I want to put a three, the model of Froki right there. So now you click tab just to change the woods. Let's put a play button. Click tab, and your mouse have to be on the main screen just to tab in and out of that. So control, uh, control copy, paste, which is control C to copy and control V to paste. If you did not already know that, so let's move you like right about here. Uh, tab, wrong one. I'm in edit mode. Okay, tab on that, so let's get rid of that wood. Okay, now we put the exits button right there. Play exit. Um, and uh, I'm going to add one more thing, so control, copy, paste. Move you down right about there. Let's check the camera view. Okay, that's actually good. So now we right click it, tab, this one, this one is going to have a certain name because, um, <sighs> buttons, I know I probably did not spell that correctly, so just don't mind it. Because I'll change this all later before I actually f 
upload this to my website and all that. So now we need. I forgot to add a thing. I ju I ducked out. If no way to add, you go down here to add mesh. I'm gonna, I want a plane. So let's move the location straight to zero. So now, if we want this to actually work, let's shrink it down. Wrong way. Let's make it invisible. I forget how to do that actually. Um, wired. Okay, so now it's wired. We move it over play. This is the thing that's going to have the ability to actually. All that. So we go down to add sensor. Where's my time at? So I have to. So I, I actually have to check my time because my this is not that good. So let's go to where is it? Mouse over. So now we shrink that down so we have enough room. I like to actually make this a little bit bigger. So now let's go over here to add controller she's gonna be an and controller and finish it off with this scene if I remember this correctly I'm doing this correctly I hope um, add a new scene you click up here new so let's call this one game LV1 so let's move this around let's add a camera this is not gonna be the full thing right here I'm just doing this so I can move to it so let's go to menu game level one and I'm still learning this stuff so if I pause the video it's most likely me looking up a tutorial on how to do something. Uh, I hope I did that correctly. So now if we click play. I forget. Wait a minute. I have to do one thing. World. Hmm. Where are you? Mouse cursor. Now you'll be able to see my mouse cursor when I click play. Okay. So I have a setup where it goes Okay, there we go. So we also do want to make that invisible. Um, no collision. Mouse. Right button. Pulse mode. Pulse mode mostly, if I remember that correctly. As you can see, now if we hover over that, we click play, it doesn't do nothing. Left click. Sorry, I'm, I I I became a dope right there for a second. So left click. Now we go up here to play. When we click play, we get teleported to the next scene. So to make sure that is the scene we're in, we're gonna add a mesh, a cube. So now, if it really does work, we'll go to that menu, play. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. There we go. So now that one works. So what we're going to do now is control, copy, paste. Over here, over the exit button, control, copy, paste. And the buttons. I'm going to put like button layout like that later on. So we want to move you over like right about there. S. X but we will have to change these still gonna be the same thing uh, exit will be down here I'm just still this is like a little tutorial and how to do something um, 
So this one's not going to be seen. This one is going to be game. Quit. Okay, now if we press play, hover over it, and press and right click it, it exits the game. So this one is going to move you to another screen. So do mesh, camera, control alt A. So this right here is just going to be the button layout list. So let's control A. And my leg is getting numb because I'm, I'm sitting on a bed. Okay, so. Move. Forwards. The way this is, it's going to be like as unique as it can. So move forwards is going to be D. For some reason, your mouse has to be on the screen. So move backwards. S or A. Um. Jump. Space. Really? There we go. As you see, we made like the buttons. Like, there'll be more added on to this later on. But I'm actually running out of time, guys. I will have to see you guys in the next episode of tutorial slash making game with Froki but anyways yeah but actually before I do go I want to add one more thing shift a text so yeah we're gonna need a button to go back to menu to the menu so tab back to main menu. I probably spelt that horribly wrong. As you see, you can't see because it it's off the screen. I, I, I think I actually did spell that correctly. So now we move you up. And these will be colored. So like we did in the first part. <coughs> Control A. We need mesh plane. Zero zero so now we move this one over back to main menu um s y i cl prematurely clicked right about there uh, okay now we s x make it longer Move you over. Still not quite big enough yet. S X. So let's make this wired. Let's add a sensor, which is going to be mouse and controller. Left click frequency. Uh, plot of pulse. I mean, not frequency. Shrink that down, move this over, add a scene, set scene, main, well it doesn't really matter what this is called because you're not going to really see the name, button, lay, as long as I know what the name is and all that stuff, so now if we go to press play it's gonna load because my laptop can't take that much oh it's it's blender render what okay so now if we click a as you see it's gonna be invisible and you can't see my mouse cursor 
that is going to be a problem, but I'll fix that all in the next part. And I hope you guys enjoyed this ep this little series I'm doing on how to royally screw up. Because that's mostly what it's going to be about, me just messing up. So, I'll be fixing a few things, guys. So, like I said, see you guys in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And, um, yeah. See you guys later. Hey there, guys. This is my menu. I am actually remodeling it. Because the buttons did not work. And I'm too lazy to actually look up on how to fix that. So, instead, I'm going to ha have a different ideal. So, control, copy, paste. Control, copy, paste. Right about there. So, what I planned on doing is... Press P to play. So yeah, I'm changing it up where you actually press buttons now. So if we press play, nothing. Because I have to implement that button. Which means I'm just going to highlight that, add sensor to text, keyboard, pulse, call this play, and P. So now add controller. This is actually being recorded right after the other one. If you guys was wondering that, probably not. So we go to we click on scene. Set scene. Scene is going to be game level one. So now, if we go to play, press P, boom, that works perfectly. So now, button layout. So yeah, this one will be the yeah will be exporter. Press B for button layout. As you see, it's very far out there. So I'm just gonna actually just move the camera. That should be easier. G, which is it? Z. So now these will be moved up. And S to get bigger. So S. This one will have to stay small. So tab. Enter. There we go. Tab again. Now this can be bigger now. This last one. Press. I can't really see it, so if I mess up. X. To exit. There we go. So S make bigger there we go now let's just add the sensors if that one okay so we need scene right now this is the easiest way for me to do this for me if you use blender and you're something easier for you to do do it I'm not gonna judge you cuz um if you can get something better than I can out of this then Good for you. I'm just doing this because I can and I like it. So, we need a keyboard. Pulse. Button. I just call it button. So, that one was. 
B. I left sh I left click and B. Yeah. Left shift. Shift and B. But now that's finished. Now let's go down to this one. Keyboard. Exit. Because I just can. I can just call it that. Shrink you down, move you over. And the game is basically also the enemies in the game will be electric type Pokemon because you know Froakie's weak to electric. Uh, we're running on five minutes. <clears throat> Don't know why I just said that because I can. So this one is no, no, I need a game. This one's gonna be quit. There we go. Now B, uh, press play. Okay, like, okay, like this pops up. Okay, back to main menu. So that one you do have to click on X to exit. Simple actually. So I want to highlight them, move them all down. Play. There we go. Uh, B. I want to move these down further from each other. There we go. So now, as we got that part done, we're gonna move on to adding Froki. And I got something on my fingernails, and it's bothering me. Let me just use this little toy Osseus I have. What? I have an Osseus, so what? He's my lord and savior. Because Pokemon, right? So now we're going to import the Froakie model. Which is this. Into the game. Let me just fix my thing because uh, the file went behind my... Went in front of my camera. So I can't see the time. So now we go to file. Like it, uh, if you did not already, I got all my models from rosestudio.uk. Rosestudio.com.uk. The models, they are pretty cool looking. There's a lot of them I like, like Zogrok, Garchomp, they're good. But there's a few things wrong with them, like parts of them comes off, like the teeth and everything. Sometimes, not all of them, but it's okay. We go to import. Wave front. Models. All the way to the end. Froki. Greninja's in it. Finnegan and Chespin. The like I said, this is still being worked on. Froki. This one I have not seen Froki's form yet, like on this. Hopefully it is working. Because if it's not, then I have to think of something. And Blender just not responding. Okay. So we ask that and make it smaller. Rotate. There we go. Move Froakie like right about there. So now we're going to go down here to method to display object in 3D view to texture mode. Which actually loads up the texture. Hopefully the texture is working. As you see it's black. You'd be wondering why is it black? Because we don't have lighting yet. So, get off of that. So, shift A. We don't actually have to do that. We th There's an easier way. There's another way, but it takes a little bit more time. We go to this, which is type of, well, m the materials button right here. We click on it. Click new. Go down here to shade list. Now, you don't really need light for that to show. We want to do that for all of them. Because right when I implant imported a model a model in it, it needs the Yeah. I actually think that's kind of odd. So now you can actually do the same thing with Froki Where did I move? Uh okay. 
Control Z. My laptop is lagging behind a little. Is it? Yeah, not responding. So yeah, let's just talk while that's working. Oh, there we go. It's fixed. So Control Z again, cause Froki went past his little bubble C sheet. Not responding again. Ah, there we go. So now we want this Froki's model. Okay. And his little hair shadeless. Froki looks like a freaking demon now. So let's fix that. Well, it looks like I actually... Oh, wait. Okay, well, it looks like we will have to add light to him. I didn't want to do that. So, shadeless. Okay, so, shift A... Lamp, we're going to use spot. And I just scratched my arm and now I'm bleeding. And not responding again. Okay, so the light is below it, so G, Y to over. So G, X to move like that. Then G, Z. Okay. Let's actually move out of that. Light. Sun. I think, doesn't, uh, hopefully the sun actually works better. Once again, not responding. My laptop is a piece of crap. So let's move you down to. F I said down. Okay. So right now, Froki looks freaky. Shift move you over. So if we click play, there's Froki. This is going to be like the menu screen. Game screen. So, Froki does look a little bit deformed, but that does change. Now, what I want to do... Is animate the Froki. Yeah, I, I will be animating it in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and this is helping you, hopefully... If you're making game. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. I, I gotta go again. Cause um. I'm very busy today. And this is just time I have. So yeah. See you guys later. <sighs> hey there guys. Agra and I have back to. Animate Froki here. Okay. So. Shift A. We go to this. Emmet. I can't really say it because no good rewards. Single bone. For some reason, it spawns over there. You are right about that. So, we're going to need help on this one. So, that, let's make this x ray. Now, we're going to be able to see that whenever it's inside of Froki. And it's above Froki. At least I know that now. So basically, we're going to go over to view, go all the way down to control alt Q, quad view. So now we're going to be able to see Froki basically. So we want to move that up. And over. So sometimes I like 
to check that on and off to see if it's sticking out any so what we're going to do here is rotate it rotate we want it to rotate y no 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 x come on We're just going to do basic animating here. Nothing too big, nothing too special. I just want to animate him waving with one arm. So, we go over we click tab to go to edit mode. Top of that, we're going to click E. Then E again. Basically, we're just going to animate one whole arm because um, I'm still learning a lot of this. So now we want to see if that actually almost got in there. Okay, right click, let's move, move them up. So yeah, this is what I like to turn x-ray off. Because uh, now I can see if it's inside it. Shift over. So up and over. Wrong over. So we just want to try to get that in there as good as we can. Why do you have to do this? G. Mm. I really don't have patience for this right here because this is annoying. So I'm just going to say that's in there. So now we want to move that one. Last but not least, I hope this one so let's get camera view the controls are basically inverted oh no one here knows me well enough to know that I hate playing inverted in any game Like I said, it doesn't have to be 100% perfect since I really don't have the patience and the time to do this. Okay, I'm just going to say it's in there. So now let's exit out of edit mode. Right click on Froki, then shift, right click on that. Control P. And, oh wow, actually... Really? Okay. So now hopefully he is animated now. So if we click this object pose, we can pose his arm. He loses his whole body. Yeah, forget it. Control Z. We're not animating. Forget it. Animating. Nope. That's out. That's out. Not responding. Great. Control Z. Control Z. No, forget it. Ooh, that's gonna hurt me. Why don't we just... Not responding when I'm trying to zoom in. Animate X, X, D. Nope. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is. Oh. X, 
that's the best part about animating is raging apparently shift move over view let's get rid of that control alt Q okay so we're just keeping this like it is I wasted a lot of time with that okay P I wanted exit so this is gonna be right here pretty good okay I really want to do something for okay but let's highlight froki and make him more larger that is all I'm going to do with froki move you and then move you down cuz froki it will be the playable character if you know that now so now we click P aha froki does look pretty good now well, let's just leave that let's go to button layout cuz I want to change this now XD tab I clicked on the side Pro S B to go tab move you over play so yeah move you up move you up sorry guys this is really getting on my nerves now so enter tab that move it like right there P press B to go back to main menu now we're gonna add that in so keyboard B B so I really don't like doing a lot of this stuff but it's fun like I've been just practicing animating for past two days oh I'll pass go oh, just yesterday and um yeah I'm getting hang of it so we went let's see that set we want menu so now wait did I connect control yeah so if I press play press B press B to go back to me oh okay it just took a little bit so P to play so far this is pretty good so on my desktop I'm not really gonna show you what I'm doing I'm gonna make a folder and called it Froki I'm just gonna call it game tester why well, I'm calling it game tester is because I'm gonna go oh I'm still on that I want to Why is the file gone? And not responding again. <sighs> okay. Now we're back to. F Don't know why. There's file. We're going to export, save as game engine runtime. But that won't show up on yours if you want to make a practice file. You, uh, you have to go to user preferences or control alt u then this comes up it's lagging because I got so many screens on the back opened let me just if you see it then don't worry um yeah this is make human it's a fun th you can make a 3d model of people and stuff like that don't know why you're half male half female it's kind of creeping me out. So, yeah, this is what I will be hopefully 
making a survival game, making 3D models and put it in there. So yeah, that's just other stuff. So exit Froki's out. So yeah, what you have to have, you, you have to go to game engine and mark this as a check as runtime. Then you click on save as use user settings exit it out and then it gives you the option to save as game and run at time engine so <laughs> desktop where is it tests oh game tester and then save as engine but <clears throat> I'm actually going to pause the video here until it gets finished see you guys in a second okay I am back this is what should happen if you make the game engine. This is the application you open up. Yeah. And once this game does get finished, I will put the download, just a download link to my website to it. So all that stuff, yeah. <sighs> Running low on time. It's 12 minutes now. I love this cam studio, but a lot of things, probably on your side, it looks a little bit lagging, like... Hopefully it doesn't. Okay. It didn't work really. Right here, as you see the game layout menu. Press B for buttons. Layout. B to go back. X to exit. P to play. So that's all we have right now. We have to reopen it now. Because uh, I didn't get to test out the exit button. I will do that to like escape be the exit button to oh wait it already is da 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 oh. <sighs> exit exit it exits it out what a shocker so I guess this is actually it for now I will own I will actually do a little bit of stuff off screen like the basic map built and tell you how I do it and all that stuff plus there's this little screen down here where you can change to whatever I'm actually pretty tired so I'll see you guys in the next episode I gotta go the margin rock applier I'm tired and I'm still doing the videos cuz YouTube you guys out there YouTube I kind of do see you guys as family because I talk to you, basically you guys more than I do to my own mother. I don't live with my mother. I live with my grandparents. So, yeah. Good life. Good eating, too. Good friends. So, I'll see you guys in the next episode. And if you don't really care about my life story, then I don't care. Honestly, you click on... Plus... If you click on a video and comment on it, like say something bad about it, like, nah, 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 nah. you're the one who actually gave the choice to watch that video and stayed there for the whole video. If something annoyed you about it, just leave. That's all I have to say. Yeah, I watch a lot of YouTubers who comments on, co read comments that people gives them saying, why don't you do this? Why didn't you do this? Blah, 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 blah. And it's like, how they're doing what they want to and not what you guys think they should do there's still people out there living they have lives like you and me but anyways I have to go and if I get a lot of dislikes then I don't really care I'm just doing this for fun and few of you guys out there that actually does care watching this um, thanks for sticking around and see you guys in the next episode Hey there guys, Knight here, back, if you see, we're on, we are in game level 1, this is going to be the platform in which Froki will be doing stuff in, so let's shift A, add a mesh, cube, Let that cube spawn, let's change the location to 0, that's an O, 0, <coughs> 0, I'm pressing 9. There we go. So, yeah. 
we want that cube to actually go on there so s make it smaller move you over up over so let's turn texture to solid so we can actually see what we are doing I don't even think that's on there oh it is but we're not going to really see that it's going to be off the side over here so let's size it X I don't know we want it sized Y there we go Make it longer, then size Z. So we're just going to copy, paste it. Nice is there. So this is what the platform is going to look like. So we actually have to re-import Froki. Let's turn this to Huh. That's odd. But <coughs> let's just Input Froki. Way front. Froki. <sighs> okay, now I'm not on my back no more. I'm a lazy cat sitting on my back. And it, there we go. Froki. Let's see how this looks. Hey, uh, Froki, you need to get into the shot, please. Okay, so let's just shrink Froki down. That's not what I meant by shrinking him down. He went upside down. So let's move you over. S. So what I want to know is what is this location? Okay. So I want to get a notepad. This right here, if you don't know, is the website I got the models from move you to the side exit this one move this one so I want to write this down X negative 0 0.329 Y is negative thirteen point eighty one three oh oh or zero for some reason I say O oh when I when I actually mean zero so this one is gonna be four fifteen seventy sixty four so I wanna move this right here to the side so A, B, A, B, highlight Froki, and move him to the coordinates. What? Okay, I'm confused. Yeah, old-fashioned time. So shift Froki up. So now if we go to camera mode, we can see Froki. We still want to shrink him down. Rotate, we want to rotate him on the Z axis. Now 
Not at an angle. Okay, let's go to textured mode. Let me see how Froki looks. Froki does look pretty good, but we do have to shrink him down a little bit more. S. There we go. Froki. He is finished on one hand. Let me just make those notepads go away because um, it's covering up my time. Okay, now let's actually... Wait, what? I want to add another Froki real quick in a different area. Because it said forms of Froki. I'm like... All the different forms of Froki on here? Because I only seen one. It's that one. Hopefully it's the one where it looks like he's about to hop. Oh god, that's pretty big. That's what she said. Oh god, his eyes are just demonic. Shrink you down at least. Because. Click on Froki here and move you over. Oh, it's a foam. I'm an idiot. Highlight that. XD. Now we can just move back over here. Shift. Whoa. There we go. Wait, why don't I just click on camera? So, what we want to do is actually highlight Froki and his foam. If I highlight anything else, I'll just shift off of it. Okay, I, hopefully I got off of that. So I want to control P, basically put it to as a payment. So now wherever Froki goes, the phone will also go. So keyboard, let's call this one move. That's gonna be called. That's gonna be a D. So we'll move this over to add controller. It's gonna be the and controller. You can choose use any of them. Each one has its own little special property. Uh, motion, it's going to be on the x-axis, so that. So let's connect to the controllers and see what happens when I press play. Once again, it was in Blender Render, not Blender Game. So let's go about like that. Play. I must go. My people need me. Okay. I must go. My people need me. Why is it going? Did, did I accidentally made it get on the Z? And why is his foam not going with him? Hmm. Solid. B, all of that, then shift on that. Control P, the parent object. So play. It still does not go with them. Shift on Froki right there, then control P. Parent, where's the other piece of foam at? Shift, shift, right click on Froki, parent, object. Now, let's see what I did here. Uh, the, the, why did that move up then? Let's turn Froki into dynamic. Okay, at least everything else moves with him now. 
Huh. Yeah, yeah, I'm breathing hard. He still goes up. What? Let's try this. Oh, now he goes forward. Okay. So it's the Z. Unless he's at a certain angle where it's up and down, basically. Because then that would make sense. So it's keyboard. No, no, that's the phone. We don't want to give the phone any sensors. Uh, keyboard. Let's call this one. Move. Two. Like, you know, move to the beat. This one's going to be an A. Over, add a controller. And you have to add different controllers for each one, or they won't work properly. That's what I've learned. Motion. There we go. So now, if we go to play. I can set a camera motion real quick, cause um. Oh, he's going right through them. Okay. No, 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 no! I don't want to move it. These should be sensor. Froki should not be able to go through them. Let's see what we can do for this one for collision. Collisions in the other side. <sighs> Froki is going to be his own little group. Not a group. It's going to be called Player. Because it's a whole lot easier to do. Player. Also, my head's itching. My glasses was taking, hitting my mic too. Controller and actor. Oh, mouse motion. Oh, what should I do? What should I do? Um, edit object. Hmm. This is going to stump me on what to do here because I'm doing this my own way. And this is the first time I've actually tried to build a side scroller. You know, it's just going to restart game if you hit those. If you hit that. So if the player hits it, it restarts the game. Why does Froki go through it? Wait. He's dynamic. Oh, it's the phone that's connected to him. It's static. We need that to be dynamic too. And the foam on the other other side should also I, I had it. There you go. Dynamic so if we go to that and P that's odd let's just hold it until I think he falls hey, he's back I'll fix this guys and I'll see you guys in the next episode <sighs> this is gonna try to be fun
you guys later.